Welcome to my kitchen. I'm gonna be showing you how to do my fresh herbed black bean burritos. And today we're going to be making a high raw version as well as a regular version for the rest of the family. All right, so I got out six individual servings of black beans and I just let them set in my blender for a couple hours. You can see that they've defrosted and can't really tell their individual servings anymore. It's just a bunch of black beans in there. And the rest of my ingredients are, I've got my filtered water that's lead free. I have some dried herbs as well as some fresh herbs, garlic, and avocado. So we're gonna be using all of these. I typically prefer to use all fresh herbs, but my thyme plant is not big enough to harvest from yet, so I'm gonna be using some dried thyme. We also have some garlic salt. We're just gonna be using a tiny bit of that and some cumin. And you can add any other herbs that you love to really dress this up and make it pop. So if you're growing some fresh herbs out there, add them on in. In fact, I think I still have some cilantro and parsley in the fridge, so I'm gonna get those out as well. Okay, and you can put your garlic through a garlic press, or you can mince them, whichever you prefer. Okay, you don't have to get too perfect on this because we are gonna be blending it, so I'm gonna put that in. Now cut open your avocado. It should be a really ripe avocado, nice and soft. So now I've got my fresh cilantro. I'm gonna cut off a bit of that fresh basil here, and I'm gonna use all of this. We like a lot of basil. So all of that into the blender as well. My cumin, I'm probably gonna use everything in here. I like to almost fill up this lid. That gives it a really, really good flavor. So I would say that's maybe shy of a tablespoon a tiny bit of garlic salt, not that much at all, because salt is not, added salt to food is not that great for us. And then thyme, a little over a teaspoon there. So any other fresh herbs that you wanna try, it's gonna be amazing. So whether that's marjoram, oregano, dill, rosemary, if you wanna try it, if you like it, you're growing it, pop it in there. You really want this to have so much flavor that it just pops in your mouth. It's an unforgettable recipe and you're gonna be craving more because of all the good fresh flavors and you can just feel yourself being infused with nutrients. Now I say unforgettable, I did forget that I ate these once, which was really, really funny. It was actually the day you were born, Mr. Messy Face. Mm -hmm. I wasn't even in labor yet. I had black bean burritos for lunch. And then shortly thereafter, when I was getting ready for your brother's birthday party, I went into labor and we went to the birth center and they ask you questions when you get there, like what was the last meal you ate? I couldn't for the life of me remember. I was way too focused on baby. And then it was a couple hours later in the middle of trying to concentrate and get through the labor, all of a sudden I blurred out, black bean burritos. And of course everybody looked at me like, you want one right now? No, that's what I have for lunch. I finally remembered. That was your funny story. Mm -hmm. Come here, give me a kiss. That was your funny story. Oh, it's a messy kiss. Thank you. All right, water sufficient for processing. <laughs> that should be good. Oh wow, I can just smell this. It is so full of fresh herbs. Really, really good. And the great thing is, if you wanna take a taste right now to make sure it tastes the way you want it to, go right ahead. Okay, so let me show you what I got out here as well. We've got some red bell pepper and some red Swiss chard. I typically like to have leaves quite a bit bigger than this, but these were the biggest that the store had today. So I will have to make do with these. If you can get these out about an hour or two before you eat, they'll be a lot more pliable and less likely to break. 
I also have some extra black beans here, and I'll show you why in a little bit. And this is garlic hummus. You can have your own homemade, or you could purchase some. But again, it's garlic instead of um, some other flavor, because we're going for a flavor bomb here. I'll show you a little kid's burrito, and then I'll show you an adult's burrito. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to be putting our glue right up here. That's our garlic hummus. And we're gonna take one scoop of our mixture. Just like that. Let's see if I can do this one handed here. So you fold up this part until it meets the glue. Fold your sides in. And then fold it over. Almost perfect there. And there is your burrito. Okay, we adults tend to like a little bit more dimension to our food. So again, we're gonna be putting on the glue of the garlic hummus. This time I'm gonna be doing a slightly smaller scoop of our mixture. And I'm gonna lay on two pieces of bell pepper, some fresh herbs, a little bit of the chard that I cut up. All that on there and sprinkle on some, just some plain old black beans as well. So that way when you cut into it, you'll be able to see that there's a lot of stuff going on there and it's not just gonna look like paste. Kids tend to pick things out, so just having paste is usually pretty good for them. Unless you have a child that doesn't mind that, but typically most children tend to shy away from anything that looks like it resembles a casserole or a mixture of foods of any kind. They like everything to be the same. Okay, now we have our burritos in the pan. There's absolutely nothing in this pan. No water, no oil, nothing. And I have it on a really low setting here. I'm using gas heat, and I actually want this all the way down to two. I'm gonna cover it, and it's gonna sit in there for maybe two minutes, three minutes. Basically, we're warming up and browning the tortilla on the outside and adding a little bit of warmth on the inside. So these burritos are not designed to be piping hot. I don't wanna cook out all the goodness that we have in those fresh herbs. You can see those are very, very lightly browned. Now I'm gonna be doing the same thing to the other side and they're ready to go. Just like that to the end. And then cut those off. This is going to make a really itty bitty bitty burrito. You can see how it'd be much easier if the leaf was bigger. And I'm going to work with what I have. Put on a little bit of the filling. I really like these bell peppers and the flavor that they add. A little bit of fresh herbs. Some fresh black beans. I'm getting carried away. I'm not going to be able to close it. <laughs> So I'll put a little bit of the glue up here. And then you just fold it up like that. I hope you can see that. Roll it as much as you can to close it. And then these just fold over whichever way they naturally want to fold. And there you go, a little Swiss chard burrito there. You're gonna have openings on either side, but that's all right. And don't forget, if you have a juicer, to save these for juicing. They are incredible. And you can see these are not hot. I can pick them up out of here without hurting myself. Nino! Nino! Are you excited? Mm -hmm. I think I show you. We're going where? We're going to the shuttle. We're going to the shuttle? No, we're going to church. We're going to church? Yep. Uh, not today. We uh, went yesterday, remember? Where's my plate? Where's your plate? I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Are you excited about these burritos? Mm -hmm. Oh, you're going to help me, huh? I'm going to get my plate. What a good little night. Which one do you want today? Got it. Got it. 
<laughs> Are you enjoying yourself? I can't even see you, Galhad. Hello? Can you eat with that towel on? Mm -hmm. All right. There. <laughs> mm hmm. Very good.